is Sebastian Ruth, and this is the Alternative Community Schools class on the Middle East. Each student here has taken on a role of a country, group, or figure involved in the Middle East, and specifically the Arab-Israeli conflict, and has done two extensive research papers, first on the history of that group's involvement in the Middle East, and second, on that group's perspective on the Arab-Israeli conflict. What you're about to see is a simulation of an international peace conference on the issue of the Arab-Israeli conflict. Once we begin, we will remain in character, and we will not come out of character for the duration of the conference. I will begin by introducing each student and the, the role they represent. Representing the Palestinian Liberation Organization are Carla Vargas and Ludi Suter Klein. Representing Jordan is David Miller. Syria, Tariq Di Domenico. Iran is played by Kareem Beers. Avi Smith is representing Saudi Arabia. Thea Stark, Egypt. Lisa Porch, Kuwait. Paul Platt, the USSR. Nick Goldsmith is representing France. Matt Yarrow is representing Great Britain. Carl Gardline and Matthew McLaren are representing the United States. Lisa Davidson and Jacob Todd are representing the Labor Party of Israel. And finally, Maggie Lehman and Nora Schmidt are representing the Likud Party of Israel. First on today's agenda is opening statements. Each country group figure will have three minutes, three to five minutes, to uh, present or introduce their country or group. The PLO will begin. You're allotted seven minutes since there are two representatives. Go ahead. Good afternoon, you most honorable delegates. I'm Yasser Arafat, and I am chairman of the PLO and representative of the Palestinian people. We, the Palestinian people, believe in the principles of justice, freedom, sovereignty, self-determination, human dignity, and the right of all people to exercise them. We, the Palestinian people, possess a legal right to our homeland and have the right to determine our destiny during and after achieving the liberation of our country. Since the Israeli occupation of the land of Palestine, we Palestinians have been stripped of our rights of self-determination and freedom. We have been forced into the most menial jobs, regardless of the fact that the Palestinians are the most highly educated in the Arab world. We have been forced to live in the slums and refugee camps in our own homeland. The Palestinian people have been subjected to murder, rape, torture, and harassment by the Israeli military occupying the West Bank and Gaza Strip. We live in constant fear of curfews, house arrests, and the destruction of our homes. Regardless of these brutal actions that we face daily, the Palestinian people have not lost their identity. We continue to pass down to our children our heritage and our struggle. The liberation of Palestine will restore the dignity and freedom to our Arab Palestinian children. We assert the right to a normal life in Palestine and we exercise our right to self-determination and sovereignty. The destiny of the Arab nation depends upon the destiny of the Palestinian cause. The liberation of Palestine is an Arab national duty. It is the duty of all Arabs to repel the imperialist aggression against our Arab homeland. It is the duty of all Arab nations to provide the Palestinian people with human, spiritual, and moral capabilities. Palestine is a homeland of the Arab Palestinian people. It is an invisible part of the Arab homeland, and the Palestinian people are an integral part of the Arab nation. The liberation of Palestine will provide the Holy Land with an atmosphere of safety and tranquility. We ask the support of all our Arab brothers to help us with our struggle for freedom. We totally and completely renounce all forms of terrorism. 
We cannot and do not pretend to have control over all our people. In any social process which involves masses of people with different conceptions of the struggle, there is always the possibility of extremism, sometimes express expressing itself as terrorism. We don't agree with terrorist, terrorist tactics. Terrorism is not part of the PLO policy. Jews are not our enemies. We both come from the two sons of Abraham. Both Arabs and Jews have been exploited by the outside imperialists. It is not the Muslims who have harmed the Jews, it was the Europeans, yet we are the ones forced to suffer. It is the Zionist movement that destroyed our homeland. Before the creation of, his, of an Israeli state, Jews and Arabs lived together in peace in Palestine. The United Nations, the international community, has voted for the end of the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip in Resolution 242 and 338. Yet this has not been accomplished or enforced, and the plight of the Palestinian people con still continues. We ask that the foreign nations as well as the Arab nations back us in our struggle to retain the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem for the Arab people of Palestine. We thank you for having this opportunity to express the sentiment of our people, and we hope that you, the, great leader, the leaders of these great nations, remember that all we ask is for justice and freedom for our people. Thank you. Next, we have... Stop! I demand an audience. Wait, this is extremely out of line. Please remove yourself at once. No. I demand you hear me speak. Lord. We ask that Abu Nidal be led into our delegation. Um, in the best interest of keeping peace, I will allow Mr. Nidal to stay according uh, that he participates with the rules that we have set aside already. Thank you. I'm Abu Nidal. You may have heard of me. I represent the Palestinian people. I think this conference is kind of a waste of time. The problem concerns nobody but us and them. The Israelis must leave our territory. They must leave now. They must leave all of it. I will not rest until every last Jew is dead or driven out. In the uprising of 1987, we threw rocks. The, they responded with guns. And just 42 or so years ago, they were complaining about being repressed. I supported Saddam Hussein in his campaign against Israel in the United States. I will support and continue su to support any force that will help what you call gain what you call Israel back for my people. I've been fighting for freedom for a long time, and I will continue to lay siege to Israel until it's gained. There are no civilians where, where you're, when your whole homeland is at war. I will continue to ensure that the world does not forget we Palestinians are here. If it means bumping off a few ambassadors or blowing up a couple of jets, so be it. The world will not forget us. Uh, thank you. 